Hey, what's good? Coach Colin Castell here with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I'm going to introduce you to my sleeper in the 2017 NBA Draft. So meet Peter Jock. Now, Peter Jock is a shooting guard for the University of Iowa and somebody who I think is really underneath the radar when it comes to the 2017 NBA Draft. After diving deep into the highlights, I think he's got some serious NBA potential and something that a lot of GMs and scouts are probably wanting to see. So today we're going to break down his game, specifically his shooting, and how maybe you can add some of those tips into your own game as well. All right, so before we jump into it, this video is brought to you by my guys over at Captain U. Now, Captain U is my all-time favorite tool to connect college coaches with athletes that are looking to get that college scholarship. So what you can do is hit the link in the description down below, and then that's going to allow you to sign up for a free profile that you can connect with college coaches. All right, to make it even sweeter, the guys over at Captain U decided to give you a free consultation. That means once you sign up, you can give them a call, and you're going to speak with a coach that's going to direct you exactly how you want to fill out your profile, the highlights you want to make, all that sort of good stuff, and kind of optimize your chances of getting recruited by college coaches. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. All right, now let's get you acquainted with Peter Jock and why I think he can probably be a big deal in the NBA. All right, so the first thing you notice is Jock is an absolute monster off the catch. Here he reminds me a lot of Klay Thompson by the way he uses off-ball screens to get wide open looks. Now this is a great skill to translate to the NBA because not only is he awesome at it, but he's going to have bigger and better post players setting those picks. And here the key is all about patience. A lot of times you see that he doesn't just run straight to his spot. Instead he sets up his cut going the opposite direction and then runs off tight on the pick. And then next, he's got the mark of an elite level shooter, which is his ability to shoot out of different footwork off the catch. He can hit it out of the one, two, or the hop step, or the side step. It really doesn't matter. And that's a really great sign for translating to the next level. And at the end of the day, he's an elite level catch and shoot player, which at the bare minimum means he's gonna have a good NBA career because teams are always gonna need that guy to stretch the floor and keep the defense honest. And so it's crazy, before I even talk about the rest of his game, I know he can be a productive NBA player. All right, so next let's talk about Jock shooting off of the pull-up. Now this is what separates players from being your average, just pretty decent shooter, to being what we call a dynamic shooter. And this is another element of his game that's gonna translate really well in the NBA, especially because he's great at shooting off of the pick and roll situation. And this ability to shoot off the pull-up reminds me a ton of what Bradley Beal has really developed himself into in the last couple years and the kind of that fringe all-star level. And the way that Beal's crushing it in the NBA with the pace and space style offense that's taking over the league, there's no doubt in my mind that Jock can 100% fit in and shine. Now another huge advantage Jock has on the pull-up is his size. He's listed at 6'6", might be a little bit taller, but he's got long arms and elevates nicely on his jump shot. And because of this, even if defenders are in pretty good position, he's still able to elevate over them and get a great look in pretty much any situation. And add in the fact that he's so efficient with his dribbles, he's definitely going to be able to get a shot over pretty much any defender in the NBA. All right, let's move on to the last level of dynamic shooting, and that's the ability to create your own shot and something that Peter Jock is phenomenal at. He's really good at using a variety of pullbacks, step backs, pop stops to get that separation from his defender to get wide open looks. And it's the ability to create your own shot that gives us a clue that he might have some star sleeper potential. If you take a look at the best sleepers that come out of the second round, guys like Gilbert Arenas or Isaiah Thomas, most all of them are able to create their own shot. And like I mentioned, this is really the last tier to be a dynamic shooter, meaning that you can shoot out of pretty much any situation. And and it's something that Peter Jock is phenomenal at already, and I think he's probably only going to get better. Now, I know he could be productive in the NBA as a shooter, but don't be surprised if he starts putting up some big numbers. Now, another big key to success in shooting in the NBA is range, and Peter Jock has unlimited range because of his shooting mechanics. And because of this, there's no doubt in my mind that the longer NBA line isn't going to throw off his shot as much as it does some other players. So on his shot, he's got a smooth one motion release where he maximizes the up force from his body into the basketball. And to make that even better, he pairs that with a high optimal release angle, giving the ball a larger target area once it gets to the rim. So when you pair those mechanics with his athleticism, there's no doubt in my mind the longer NBA line isn't going to be an issue. Now, another quick note on Peter Jock, and one reason why I think he's going to be special is because although he's a great shooter in pretty much any situation, he's also a little bit more than that, and he's a phenomenal playmaker as well. When digging deep into the research for this video, I was really blown away with his ability to make reads out of the pick and roll, find open teammates, throw in lobs, the whole nine yards. And that's another reason why I think he has sleeper star potential written all over him, is his ability to make these decisions and make his teammates better around him. 
So after studying and breaking down all the footage, even though Peter Jock is a little bit under the radar and not necessarily a household name, I think he's going to make a dramatic impact in the NBA and fit in nicely with whatever team wants that shooter that's going to stretch the floor and create offensively. And then when you add in his size and his athletic ability, I think it's a no-brainer pick for any team. So now that we broke down Peter's game, I want you to think about your own game, right? And how you can develop yourself to be that kind of dynamic shooter and scorer like Peter as well. So again, you can't just be a catch and shoot player, right? In this day and age, and in this kind of style of game that's played around the world, you need to have multiple skills that can translate in different areas of the floor, right? Off the catch, off the pull up, off the dribble, creating your own shot. Those are the things that you need to make sure that you're working on, um, just like Peter Jock, because if you can do that, you're gonna have a big result at every level you move up to. All right, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. This is a channel for the people, by the people, and I run pretty much everything off a request. So again, I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on.